Osion Nicod, um, with Dwevin Stawatong, um, Galeele, um, TJ Edo Kohik. I'm glad that, that you guys are here today. Uh, this is our Nela Du Sine Chalagi Adelo Kwasti. This is our 18th Cherokee lesson. And uh, I know we've, we've covered a lot of information, and, uh, but um, don't panic. Just um, go back through the information as much as you need to. The more you hear it, then um, you know the the more it's just going to become a part of of, of your brain. And uh, remember, um, just uh, have fun and uh, sit back and and enjoy and just let the sounds get in there. So um, I, I promise it will work. It will help. So um, uh, come, Idalena, Jalagi Idiwani. So we'll we'll start and uh, we'll we'll talk Cherokee, okay? So we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, we're going to specifically talk about describing the setting in the present tense. We've already done that quite a bit. We know uh, a lot of description words, uh, and so we're going to go back through and identify what some of those description words are. And uh, then we're going to move forward from there. So to ask what something is like, um, you can say "gato usti," um, which is very similar to "gato usti," right? "Gato ust" uh, means what is it like or what's it similar to? Okay, "gato usti." So ahan, we have a, a, a nice picture here, and so we're going to talk a little bit about what we see in this picture. Okay. So um, whenever we talk about the weather, uh, there are a couple ways uh, you can do that. Doyitid means outside, okay? Uh, and then you can say um, that's, that's what's, what's happening outside. Uh, when you're asking what the weather is, you can say gato uh, usti. Uh, or gato adene do yidi gato adene do yidi. That means what's it doing outside? Or you can say gato um, nigalsta uh, do yidi. What's what's happening outside, right? Um, which is very similar to English. We do that sometimes in English, right? You know, um, say well, what's it doing outside? Or or what's going on outside? In Cherokee, this is how we uh, you know a lot of times. This, these are some of the most common ways to ask. What the weather is like, and uh, today um, we have a very special guest. Today, Miss Melvina Shopout, she'll be with us uh, a little bit later on in the show, and, and so we'll talk about uh, maybe um, how she would ask. Um, you know, how what's her preferred way of asking about the weather? So, uh, but anyway, uh, here this is uh, what it looks like in syllabary. We have do ya deedly, do ya deedly. Ni gal. This is li, but um, we're gonna chop that e part off. Ni gal sta na ska. Okay. Ni gal sta na ska. So you see this goofy one here that's got the little o with the with the with the swoop on it or whatever. You see it two times in this word, and this is the only syllabary character that we have that doesn't have a vowel sound attached to it. This is s, s. So when you see it, you put s and then da becomes sta and s and g becomes sk. Okay? So to ya tidli ni gal sta na sk. Okay? All right. So ahan, we have n da n da n da N da e ga e hi. Okay, so n da. N da is just, um, it can be the sun or the moon. Okay, it can be either one. But a lot of times um, in spoken Cherokee, we'll just say n da if it's understood in the context of, of what you're talking about, whether it's the moon or the sun. Um, but if you have to differentiate, then you would say n da e ga. That's Day e he lives. Okay, so so this is the the heavenly body that lives in the day, right? <laughs> so nuta ika e he 
agali, agali means it's shining, right? So this is like the sun is shining. Nata ika ehi agali. And you can just say agali um, for the sun is shining. Um, so if somebody asks you, uh, what's it doing outside? You can just say, Agali, if the sun is in fact shining. So, so let's look at that all in syllabary, okay? So we're going to spend a little bit of time today, a um, little more time looking at the syllabary today than we do in other episodes, just because um, you see it a lot. I put it, a, I post it a lot um, on my lessons, but we don't really talk about it a whole lot. And so hopefully this will help you sight recognize. So this is a really easy one because it's a short one. This is n da, n da. Okay. So again, we see. So what is this one? This, of course, is n da. And then this is e ga and e hi. N da, e ga, e hi. Okay, so if we just did this one right here, let, let me uh, switch to my laser pointer. Oh, well, let me, that didn't work well. All right, let's, let's get back here. Where's my laser pointer? There's my laser pointer. All right, so we have n da, n da, e ga, e hi. So, What's this one here? What is this one? Right here in the middle, this would be e ga. Good. And what about the first one? This would be n da. And the last one here, e hi. Good. Okay. So um, we're already reading in Cherokee, right? Good. So what would this one be here? n da. This one would be e ga. And this one is e hi, and this is a ga li, right? A ga li, a ga li, okay? So you see how easy it is? Um, uh, Cherokee syllabary works really, really well. It's fairly easy to, once you remember what the different characters say, it's fairly easy to read right away uh, in Cherokee. There are some things that... Um, uh, for example, this nigal um, There are some things that that um, you just have to learn. You know, uh, for example, that the li is is um, l in that case. But okay, and so what's this one right here? You should be able to read this one here. Agali, agali, and that means it's shining, right? Or in this case, the sun is shining. Good. Okay. Now, this is not n da e ga e hi, right? This is not the sun, but this is n da n da sunoi e hi sunoi. So, what do you think if e ga meant day when we did n da e ga e hi? If Iga meant day, so what do you think Sunoi might mean in this sentence? This would be the, the heavenly body, right? This would be lives, and Sunoi would be at night. Sunoi. Sunoi. Um, incidentally, that's um, one of the names um, that uh, they would give the... Um, the, the Katuas, right? They would call Ani Sanoi, the, the ones that go at night, or Ani Sanoi, Ani Dong, the ones that are, that are around at night, right? Ani Dong. So we have Nada Sanoi, Ehi, and you can also say Agali, and that would be like the, the moon, moonshine, or the moon, not like moonshine, but <laughs> you know, like uh, the moon is shining, right? Um, so you can use it. You can say sanoi agali, like the it's it's shining at night. You could say that. Um, I can't imagine that there would be an awful lot of instances when you would, but um, you can. 
this and people would know what you're what you're meaning um you know but uh, i know when i was a little kid growing up i used to go um coon hunting with my with my grandpa and sometimes we would go and the moon would be really really bright you know um almost you know you could you could see real good even without a flashlight you know so so i guess that would be an instance maybe when you could use that shinoi okay do you did nikostanuska do you did nikostanuska what is this again let's see if we can read it nta good and again nta and is this ego? No. What is this? Sanoi. 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 Ehi. Good. Okay. Let's try this one. Nata. Sanoi. Ehi. Akali. Good. Sanoi. Akali. Excellent. All right, so we're already well on our road to reading in Cherokee. There are 86 characters, and we've been exposed to roughly, I don't know, 10 today. So, um, so that works out well, doesn't it? So um, the more you're exposed to it, the more, uh, the more you'll just start to, to recognize the, the characters. I know a lot of people, when um, a lot of first language speakers, when they learn to read and write in Cherokee, they learned using the Bible. And, and that's how their parents or their grandparents or whoever taught them, that's how they taught them. And uh, they taught them using, um, they would always start with um, the shortest uh, Bible verse in the New Testament, which of course in English is Jesus wept, Jesus adlohi. And um, then they would read it in the, in the Cherokee Bible, they would read that. And then from there, they would go on and they would read other, but that's um, every, every person that I've talked to that learned how to read, uh, that was a first language speaker that didn't like take a class or anything like that, that learned at home, that's how their parents taught them or that's how their grandparents taught them was using the Cherokee Bible. Um, and, and they always start, started with Jesus wept. Um, so I, I think that that's a, an interesting um, kind of little, little bit of cultural information. So, okay, so we're gonna talk about this picture right here, okay? This is a, a, a fairly interesting picture here. There's not a lot going on, but you would be surprised how much we can talk about with just this simple picture right here. So if I ask, Hikoti. Okay, that means what do you see? Katausti hikoti means what do you see? So let's start here. Um, so, ikas sanoi ke. Ikas sanoi ke. So is it daylight or is it nighttime? So, which one is it? Ikas sanoi ke. Ika. Ika is daytime, right? Okay. Kilos hikoti. Kilos means someone, or kilo means someone. Kilos hikoti. Do you see someone in this picture? Is there there's someone in this picture? Kilos hikoti. Ayanwe. Ayanwe. There's a there's a person, right? Hotla. Edo, ayoe. Edo means to be located somewhere. So, um, where are they at? Right? Hotla edo, ayoe. Where is the person at? And here's a new word. So, there are different ways to talk about this, of course. Um, because we don't naturally have deserts in our homeland, we have to describe what they are. So, this is how we say desert, um, or one of the ways you can say desert or describe a desert. You could say noyi inage. Noyi inage. Noyi means sand. Noyi. Nuya or nui means rock. Noyi means sand. Okay, so um, they sound very similar. Noyi, sand. Inage. Inage means like 
out in the wild. <laughs> like there's, you know, there's no houses, there's no town or anything like Inake. That's like out, out in the, out in the woolly wilds. So Inake. So noi Inake. So the wilds that are like sandy, right? Noi ha. Eto ayui. So the person is located in the desert. Noi Inake. Eto. Ayoe, no ye inike, e do. Ayoe. Ayoe, askayas, agehia ke. Askayas, agehia ke. This should be review. Um, we should know these words. Askayas, agehia ke. Remember when we see that ke at the end? That means we're asking an either or question or an either or question, right? Ke. So, askayas, is it a man? Agehya ke. Or is it a woman? Askayas, agehya ke. Askaya. It's kind of hard to see because the little guy, he's kind of small, right? But um, I can tell you, askaya, askaya, because I zoomed in on it, so I know. All right. Okay. So, kato adane, kato adane, what is he doing? Kato adane askaya, kato adane askaya. Askaya a i, a i, he's walking, right? Now, in this case, though, let's a is wa i ke, na askaya. Is he walking? Towards us, or is he walking away from us? Wa i. Remember that wa sound kind of indicates that something's going on away from you a little bit. So a is wa i ke na askaya. Askaya wa i wa i. You could say uh, if you say wa i, that's kind of like he's walking away, right? Askaya wa i. Hilayani, that means how many? Hilayani askaya wa i. Hilayani askaya wa i. How many men aniskaya wa i? Wa na i. Right? How many men are, are walking away? Sawu. Sawu askaya a i. Or you could say sawu askaya wa i. Kind of depends on. Um, how particular you want to be or how exact you want to be on describing exactly what he's doing. Is he just walking or is he walking away, right? Sawu askaya a i. Okay. Na askaya uwasa wa i. Uwasa. Uwasa. We were actually just talking about this word. Uh, Melvina and I were um, driving into the set today. Uh, we were talking about because um, there's a small community uh, near where we're from called Kinwood. And, and now in Cherokee, we, we just call it Kinniwood. But uh, a long time ago, um, the old, one of the old words for that community was called um, Uwasa or Uwasa, means, means by themselves, right? And there's still a Uwasa church um, there uh, in Kinwood. It's right right on the main drag of Kinwood. Uh, can't miss it. <laughs> so, na askaya uwasa wa i. So, the man is walking away by himself, right? Just just one guy, alone, uwasa. To me, that, that word uwasa is almost kind of a sad word. I mean, it's like, it's like oh, he's, he's like alone, he's lonely, he's, <laughs> you know. Uh, I don't know why I always think that way, but um, uwasa almost kind of like sounds like a sad word to me. <laughs> so here we go. Hotla wa i askaya. So where is he walking to? Where's where's hotla wa i askaya? Hotla wa i askaya. And we see here, right? We see this big giant. Sand hill, right? And we don't know the word for hill yet, but we're going to learn it now. So, oh, not yet. Uh, not yet. So, 
Oh, this is Hatla Wai. Is like where is he walking? Hatla Wai. Where is he walking? Noi inage Wai na Ashkaya. Noi inage. What is that? Noi inage. The sandy wilds or the the desert. Wai walking. Na Ashkaya walking the man. Now, if we said Hatla Deed Wai Ashkaya, this Deed means toward. So, like toward where? Hatlati, toward where? Wa'i, Ashkaya. Toward where is he walking, right? Hatlati, Wa'i, Ashkaya. And Gadusi, Gadusi, Gadusi means a hill. Gadusi. Um, there are two communities also called Gadusi. Um, the first one is Holbert community. Holbert community is called Gadusi. And, of course, um, in English, it sounds very, this, very much the same, very near Tulsa, right? Katusa, Gadusi, Katusa, right? They sound very similar. Um, so we also call Katusa, Gadusi. So, Gadusi did wa i askaya. So, um, He's either walking towards the hill, or he could be walking towards Holbert, or he could be walking towards uh, uh, Katusa, I guess, <laughs> depending on. But in this picture, yeah, it, that doesn't look like Holbert or, um, or Katusa to me. That looks like a hill. So, Gadusitid Wai Ashkaya. So he's walking toward the hill. Good. Gato Nikalsti. Do you did? Kato nikosti. Do you did? So nikosti means happening, right? Kato what? Kato nikosti. So what's happening? Do you did? Outside. So what's happening outside or what's the weather like? And agali, agali. And what is agali? We, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Akali, it's shining, right? The sun is shining. Klayulogil, right? It's not cloudy. Klayagaska, it's not raining. Kato heli, heli means think or you think. So kato heli, that means what do you think? Kato heli. Udit, you did legas, you heard leke. So udit lega means hot. Uditlik means hot. So, uhirdli means cold. So, um, and the y sound on there just kind of indicates that you're uncertain. So, that it, you know, um, uh, kind of give an opinion here. So, katoheli, uditlikas, uhirdli, ke. Ke. And so that ke means what? It means or. So do you think it's, um, what do you think? Do you think it's hot or cold? Noi inage, in the desert. So, kato heli, you ditlegas, you hirtlike, noi inage. So what do you think? Is it hot or is it cold in the desert? right? It's hot. Good. So let's go ahead and um, let's bring up, um, uh, before we go on to our next picture, let's go ahead and let's bring up Miss Malvina and um, we will um, visit with her a little bit, and then we'll we'll talk about this. Oh, see you. See you. Tell you, John. Oh, it's done, Ina. Oh, it's done, Kohig. Kata usti te te do te lakika. Mail usat. Mail usat. Usat. Mail usat. Nikot. Mail usat. Do do. Hotle teka. Like. Like. Kata ust like yo nekika. J. J. Good. So um, hopefully you understood that. I asked where she was from. She told me she's from Klaika. Um, I do school. No, not 
Clay Cote que um uh sis um una genel not a genel garden hu ah osta so uh, i asked her if she still live there she said yeah <laughs> <laughs> um let's see um dejata tena us tao da tena tao ni church da gi ka ah tao church uh do us do uh squad uh squad leech no le tekologisk ah osta yo ne ke tena Kip and Kenton. Osta. Mm-hmm. Um, um, uh, Hila Yundeti. Kent, no, Tanid Nakskosawa, 41. Ustikan Kip Joskohis, 35. You did, Hian. Wow, gosh, I remember mm-hmm. when they were just, I remember when Kip was. Don uh, Dejuan, uh, Dejuan, Dejuan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, so we have a little. Um, so we have a little paragraph here, mm-hmm. and um, do you prefer to read in, in phonetic or in syllabary? Which do you prefer? Phonetic. Okay. Phonetic, mm-hmm. okay, good. Um, and, uh, bef- but before we get to this, how would you ask, um, what's the weather like? Which one do you prefer? What's it doing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's, um, just to let you guys know, there are, are different ways to ask, just like in English, right? Mm. People ask what the weather's like in different ways, but everyone understands, right? Mm-hmm. So regardless of where she goes, um, people still understand, you know, even, you know, down in Marble City or, or Stillwell, um, if she was asking the weather, they, you know, when you're, when you're fluent, you, you still know, um, what's going on right <laughs> and um and uh, how about um on in our in our paragraph are there any things um that you would say differently um so like um what do you see would you, would you say that differently same um would you say that the same or I know there's a different way to ask either mm-hmm. or questions, but I can't. I, this is the only way I know how to do it. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. What are you seeing? No. Yeah. What do you see? Mm-hmm. Um, what about desert? Um, I know we were talking about that before, and uh-huh. and, um, and again, that's not something we have in our. <laughs> in our world, uh, so. Noya. 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 Mm-hmm. Noya. Good. Noya. Noya instead of Noya. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times I've noticed that that it a lot of times in dialect it's that last very last sound that that sometimes will change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Noya. Noya mean it's uh, sandy over there. Sandy. No, if you're talking about just saying Noya. Noya. Just, a, just like a handful, handful of sand. Noy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And and could you say no uh, no ya ha? No ya ha means negad. Uh, Everything. Okay, uh, you're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> in the middle of it. Yes, we dog. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. Well, could, would you read um, these for you? I'll I'll let you give you just a couple of seconds to um, to kind of look through it and make sure because I know uh-huh. we don't necessarily always use. The, there's not a formal phonetic system, and so sometimes you might write things different. Good <laughs> Hadi. Uh, hot. Hit a guy, you go away. Oh, got the Ushi go. What he? Got the Ushi he go. What he? Yeah. Ega, Sanoya. Mm hmm. Then so Ega. Yeah, it's daytime. Mm hmm. And then who do you see? Got the Ushi go. What he? A person. A Yawi. Would you say A Yawi or would you just say Yawi? Yawi. Yawi. Leave the A off. Yeah. And where's where's the person at? Hardla edo yam. Yeah. Or you could say hardla a dog yam. Where's he standing? There's a lot of ways to say it. Hardla walking. Where's he sitting? Good. Um, and then um, he is he's located in the desert. How would you say the the person is located in the desert? Noya da with a dog, or you could say noya wa. No, they walk in and say want. Yeah. No, you want. <laughs> <laughs> I like that word. That's cool. Um, is it um, is it a man or is it a woman? No, yeah. Askaya agehika. 
Uh-huh. Don't use the uh, sky ke a gay ha ke. Ah, yeah, mm-hmm. good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think this is the best way. Like, if I mm-hmm. ask, just ask you in English, and you could just tell me how you would say mm-hmm. it. I think that really works. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a man. Oscar, yeah. Oscar, yeah. Good. Um, would you ever say Oscar? Oscar, or Oscar, yeah. Uh, Oscar, yeah. Uh-huh. It is a man. It is a man, yeah. <laughs> For real. <laughs> um, what's the man doing? Kadoa done, Oscar. Yeah. Let's see, get to at the Oscar. Um the man is walking. Wada na askai. Or askai wa or you get to eat yeah. you know, ad- especially in this picture mm-hmm. because his his back's back. to us, mm-hmm. right? He's wa he's walking da, that mm-hmm. way. Wada askai. Wa. Um good. Well we can skip that part because we just talked about mm-hmm. that part. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Um how many men are walking? Halaga ni sky wa na. Wa na. Um, one man walking. Sawu a sky walk. Awesome. Um, the the man's walking by himself. Uwa sedan wa a sky. Nice. Yeah. So you notice here the the word order is just it's, it was the exact same words. Um, she said uwa sa wa wa a sky. Yeah. Right. Same. This is the exact same. You know whether you put. This in the front or put it in the back, it still means the same thing. He's walking mm-hmm. by himself, right? Um, it's like, um, where is where is he walking? How would you ask, where is he walking? How do you want a sky? Ah, nice, yeah. And he's walking in the desert. <laughs> no, you don't want a sky. Good. And then, what's he walking towards? Or where where is he walking toward? How do you walk in a sky? And then he's walking towards this this hill. No, you don't walk not a sky. Good. Um, what's it doing outside, or what's what's the weather like in the picture? Do I done it, doy, or do I done it? No, gosh, tani do doy. Either way. What's going either way? Yeah. Most of probably would say do gosh, tani do. What's uh, happening yeah. out there? Yeah. Gosh, tani do. Yeah. And uh, the sun's shining. Oh, golly. Uh, golly. <laughs> golly, right? <laughs> golly. Uh, golly. Good. And how would you say, what do you think? Do hadante. Do us hadante. Ah, hadante. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, what do you know? No, uh-huh. Right, yeah, what do you know? What do you know? Um, is it is it hot or is it cold in the desert? Mm, good. And um, it's hot in the desert. <laughs> Good. All right. What do Miss Malvina? And I'll bring you back here in just a minute. So wow. don't don't go too far. Wow. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to look at another picture here. So um, this picture is um, uh, different. Okay. So ikos sanoike. Is it is it daytime or is it or is it nighttime? Sanoi, right? It's night in this picture. Night. Um Oscar. Um do you see a man? Hikotis Oscar. Kla. Kla. Kla Yichikoti Oscar. I don't see one. If there is, he's, he's maybe he's hiding behind a tree in there somewhere. I don't know, but I don't I don't see one in there. Okay, kata usti hikoti. What do you see? Kata usti hikoti. Kalchode, kalchode, kalchode is like a house. I think we've learned that word before. I believe we've we've had that in some previous lessons. Kalchode, kalchode means a house. There are other ways to say um, a house. Again, just like in English, you can say building, you can say home, you can say house. And in Cherokee, same. You know, some people use kalchode, some people use like. Or some people say Dadanela or Adanela, you know, or something like that. So, um, so um, when when Melvana gets up here, we're going to ask which one she prefers, which one she uses the most. So, Hotla, this this is a really interesting one. So, Hotla Galchod 
Gal Jode. It's like where Gal Jode is like standing, right? Gal Jode is like something that's not alive. Where's it standing, right? Gal Jode. Where's the house standing? So, because um, we can't use that word ed, don't. We can't we can't use that because that's for for something that's alive like a person or or something like that. So we had to use we have to use a different word for like where's the house located? Where's it at? So this would be like where's where's it standing? Hotla gal jod gal jode. So here we have adonhi inage gal jode gal jod. So that's kind of a, a goofy sentence. Galtode, katsod. Adohi, adohi is like um, the woods, right? Adohe um, inege. So inege again is just like noi inege. Um, the wilds of the sand, right? This is the wilds of the woods. So adohi inege, galtode, galtode. So the house is standing. In the in the woods, hilayika kal chode hilayika. This is how you ask how many if it's something that's not alive, if it's not a person or an animal. You would say hilayik or hilayika. How many houses? Sawu, sawu, sawu yika kal chode. There's one house. Okay. Hilayi ka jolatni. Hilayi ka jolatni. We learned jolatni um, when we talked about the the jake skin and male and um, uh, Tom Uwejachuj, right? And they went they went utan dikatu dikatu hamuni lose, right? They when they went to town, right? And they were. Um, uh, Jolatni, we do we do kanatni. They were looking in the in the windows, right? So hilayik jolatni. How many windows do you see here, right? Sawu, sawu jolatni. One window, right? Good. And then sanoi agalis. So is is the moon shining? It kind of maybe kind of is, but we're gonna say tlaya gali, ukhat, ukhat, ukhat. That's all of this right here, right? Ukhat, ukhat. That's like fog, right? Foggy ukhat. Ooh, ganyeg. Ganyeg means scary. Stick it a little bit. Aneliska. So it, it seems a little scary. Ganyer um, stiket it, it, it's, it's a little bit scary, right? That, that's how we would ask that. So, um, all right, so we're going to um, bring Melvina back up. And so we're going we're gonna to ask, um, um, it's such an, uh, an honor to have her here and, and, and to um, do um, to have different, you know, we had Peggy before. She's Miss Peggy's from a different community, so we get to hear the different um, dialect differences, you know, or different ways different uh, different communities would say things. So, um, uh, is it day or night? Sanoi, Sanoi. It's, it's night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, do you see a man? He goes sky. Ah, he goes sky. Okay. And of course, no. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, what do you see? Gadozi <laughs> goti. What do you see? Yeah, a house. How would you say house? Gachode. Gachode. Um, is that the most common word for house that you? Gachode or adan. Gachode adanel. 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 And then where? How would you ask where? Where is the house located? Halaya adanel gachode. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, and then the the house is in the woods. In the garden, the dog of Jordan. Ah, nice. Yeah. Standing dog. How many houses? Hadlaga got Jordan. There he got 
Uh, how many houses do you see? Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. Um, uh, one house. Sagu Adanel. Adanel. Would you um, would you say Sagu or would you say Sawu Yiga? You could uh, say Saigu because you know what you're talking about. Right. Saigu. Yeah. Yeah. Saigu. Yeah. Or uh, I mean, if descriptive, you know, if you want to be more <laughs> descriptive, you say Sawu Kachora Adanel. Adanel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I noticed that especially that that ye ga or yani mm, uh -huh. when talking about numbers, some mm -hmm. some speakers leave it in, some mm -hmm. use leave it out, and some do both, uh -huh. like depending on on the, the dialect or the community or, you're from. <laughs> yeah, or even the conversation. Uh -huh. You know, I've noticed. So, um, how many windows? Well, I got a jolant loosed. Oh, okay. Jolant new window. Jolant, mm -hmm. yeah, jolant. One window. Mm-hmm. So good. So good. Good. Um, so is the moon shining? No, that's our golly. Sun uh, oil. Good. Uh, it's not shining. It's no, foggy. foggy. Uh, it's foggy. Oh, all, all over. over. Yeah, nika. Mm -hmm. That's a good word. Yeah, I like that word. We, we need to add that to, to one of our lessons. Nika. Because. Ukahat. Ukahat. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, it's a little bit scary. Stick it down, Ganyag used Nigan West. Nigan West, uh huh. Nigan West. Seems. Seems. Nigan West. Mm -hmm. And what is this, Anelisk? Aneliska? Andante Ganyag, they were thinking it was scary. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, they're thinking it. Yeah, Anelisk. Good. They thought it was scary. All right. Well, um, we might have time for for one more. Okay. What? What? Don't miss, I'll I'll try to zoom through this one so we can get you back up here. Okay. So um, we're gonna try to get through one more picture here, and um, uh, -huh. uh We've got a little more than seven um, seven minutes left. So we'll see if we if we can get through it or not. If not, then we'll bring it back the next the next lesson. So. Uh, uh -huh. This is kind of a um, this is kind of a trick question, right? So kla iga yigi ale kla sanoi yigi, right? It's really not day or night. Sahiyi, sahiyi. That's like evening time, right? Sahiyi, uh, sahiyi. Um, it's it's evening. Um Nikosti, do you did what's what's the weather like? Agalis, is the sun shining? Eh, stick it. Um Layagali. But Ukahat Ukahatas is it foggy? No, it's not foggy. Kla Ukahat Ulogil Ulogila Ulogila that's all of these right here, right? Ulogila. Ulogila means it's cloudy. Ulogila. Kiloshikoti. Do you see someone? Uh tall aniyoe on don't there's there's two people there. Ashkayasa kehya ke ane don are they men or they women? Sawu ake sawu ashkaya ane don't so there's one man, one woman. Kato andan ani yo. What is it? What is they doing? Kla yui dani dog. Kla yui nai. We do no kla. We do no kla. We do no kla. They're sitting, but they're sitting with their backs to us, right? We do no kla. Um, noi in a gaze, we do no tla. Are they sitting in the desert? Tla. Tla yi we do no tla. Noi in a gaze. Um, adohi in a gaze, we do no tla. Are they, are they sitting in the forest? Tla yi we do no tla. Adohi in a gaze. They're not sitting in the, in the forest. Hotla, we do no tla. Where, where are they sitting? Ama yulti, ama yulti, ama yulti. We do not. They're sitting next to the water. 
Ama yulti. We learn no hulti, right? We learn next to the road. Ama yulti means next to the water. If you can see there, there's just a little, little spit of land right there, and that's where their chairs are. Ama yulti, we do notla. Okay? So good. I did make it through. All right. So, Miss Mavana, if you would um, come up, we'll, we'll talk about these and, and talk about if there's any, any differences or. Um, of course, we already talked about Yeka and Shinoi. Mm -hmm. um, how would you say evening time? Evening time? Uh huh. Sahiye? Sahiye. Same. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sahiye. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, and then, um, how would you describe what the. Ktoni Gosti Toy did? Ulogilda. Ulogil. Ulogil. I know people that, that's named that Ulogil. Mm hmm. <laughs> I always thought that's um, interesting. So, um, and then, um, how would you, kilos um, hikoti, or would you say kilos de hikoti? Kilos de hikoti. De hikoti. Tal hika hen, the Lord. Okay. Kilos de hikoti. Tal, and would you say tal aniyo? Tal, tal aniyo, do north. Do north, yeah. I'm certain. Yeah. Um, and then uh, so, uh, one man and one woman are... are Sagwa askai, sawa gay. And kato um, andane ani yo. Kato andane. And they're not they're not standing. They're not standing. How would you say? They're not standing with their backs to us. Lida wu nakto danista. Or you could say, do mm. north. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ni, or you can say Danista means they're sitting down. Oh. Or say, oh, yeah, do yeah, you know least they're sitting. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Both mean sitting say down. Say sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Like the same thing like George Tlaes and Halstead Tlaga. Halstead Tlaga. Right. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Are they sitting Are they sitting in the desert? I'm my youth, I never do know what. Yeah, yeah, I'm a uh, uh, I like that word. I don't know why I like that word. I just like, I just like uh, saying uh, that uh, word. I'm a uh, mm -hmm. We do not. Uh, right there, mm -hmm. yeah, we do not. I'm a mm -hmm. We do not. All right, so um, we're almost out of time. So we went pretty quick through that last one. So maybe we'll add this last one to the, the lesson coming next. So we can go over it a little bit more. But I want to say what don't um, to Miss Melvina for, yeah. for coming today and, and being with us. And, and I think she's going to be with us for a few more episodes okay. today and, um, and uh, in the future. So uh, hopefully we gave you some things that you can use. And um, uh, we uh, just want to say what don't. And the doc says, be careful and eat this we're we're finished. Come on. <laughs>